Hi, this is Caleb Gedkin. Today I'll be giving you a list of 17 Bible verses about discernment. Let's pray before I get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your Holy Spirit and being Lord of our lives and Savior of our lives. Please show us what you want us to learn and apply it to our lives if it's in your will, Heavenly Father, and I pray amen. Let's get started. Number one, give me an understanding heart so that I can govern your people well and know the difference between right and wrong. For whom by himself is able to govern this great people of yours? 1 Kings 3 9. Number 2. My child, listen to what I say and treasure my commands. Tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. Cry out for insight and ask for understanding. Search for them as you would for silver. Seek them like hidden treasures. Then you will understand what it means to fear the Lord, and you will gain the knowledge of God. Proverbs 2 1 through 5. Number 3. Read Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1 through chapter 6, verse 35, on your own time. Number 4. Look, I am sending you out as sheep among wolves, so be as shrewd and as snakes and harmless as doves. Matthew 10, 16. Number 5. Look beneath the surface so you can judge correctly. John seven twenty four. Number 6. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Romans 12, 2. Number seven. But people who aren't spiritual can't receive these truths from God's spirit. It all sounds foolish to them, and they can't understand it. For only those who are spiritual can understand what the spirit means. 1 Corinthians 2, 14. Number eight. For God is not a God of disorder, but of peace as in all the meetings of God's holy people. 1 Corinthians 14.33 Number 9 These people are false apostles. They are deceitful workers to themselves as apostles of Christ. But I am not surprised. Even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is no wonder that his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. In the end, they will get the punishments their wicked deeds deserve. 2 Corinthians eleven thirteen through 15 Number 10. I pray that your love will overflow more and more so that you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. For I want you to understand what really matters so that you may live pure and blameless lives until the day of Christ's return. Philippians 1, 9 and 10 Number 11. Don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies and high-sounding nonsense that come from human thinking and from the spiritual powers of this world, rather than from Christ. Colossians 2, eight. Number 12. Do not scoff at prophecies, but test everything that is said. Hold on to what is good. 1 Thessalonians 5.20-21. 20 Number 13. Teach these things, Timothy, and encourage everyone to obey them. Some people may contradict our teaching, but these are the teachings wholesome teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. These teachings promote a godly life. Anyone who teaches something different is arrogant and lacks understanding. Such a person has an unhealthy desire to quibble over the meaning of words. This stirs up arguments ending in jealousy, division, slander, and evil suspicions. These people always cause trouble. Their minds are corrupt and they have turned their backs on the truth. To them, a show of godliness is just a way to become wealthy. 1 Timothy 6, 3-5 Number 14 For the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God. Everything is naked and exposed before his eyes. And he is the one to whom we are accountable. Hebrews 4, 12, and 13. Number 15. Solid, is, solid food is for those who are mature, who through training have the skill to recognize the difference between right and wrong. Hebrews five fourteen. Number 16. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. James 1 5. Number 17. Dear friends, do not believe everyone who claims to speak by the Spirit. 
You must test them to see if the spirit they have comes from God. 1 John 4, 1. I hope these Bible verses were helpful. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think, learned, or any questions you have in the comment section below. And please be polite and respectful. Have a great day.